not so much what you do that counts, but whom you do it with that matters the most. She takes the important things in life seriously, and at the same time, she's like incredibly fun. Look at how gorgeous this is. There's so much that happens in life that's dark and sad. He can see through all of that and deliver the perfect line that'll just make me laugh. L'chaim doesn't mean to life. It means to lives. Our lives only find meaning when they're connected with somebody else who loves us. L'chaim. 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 Whenever we come here, it's for a special occasion. But I dare say none has been more special than this one. Having found one another, when person-to-person -person connection in the world was cut off, it seems clear to me the Holy One's hand played an undeniable part. We met online. At the horribly named J-Swipe. And we are actually incorporating that into our wedding day festivities. We got a set of 20 rolls of custom toilet paper that say D and J-Swipe. <laughs> That's so good. So good. It is simply wonderful, but clearly kismet that you found yourselves right before a pandemic. You your suspenders, your pants stay up. And they managed to go out on a, a few very pleasant dates with each other, and then all of a sudden, the world stopped. California went into lockdown. And Jer, you know, he asked me, he's like, we could either never see each other or see each other all the time. Hi, Becky! We need to consider moving in together. It felt right. <laughs> Roughly 10 minutes into Debbie's first exposure to our family, Charlie was right in front of the camera going on about something or other. Then Tessa slapped Charlie square across the face. <laughs> what did we see from Debbie? Laughter. We knew right then Debbie was our kind of person. Life is too serious to take everything seriously. About a month before Jeremy had even met Debbie, he walked into a rather ordinary bookstore and spotted what looked like an ordinary book. A little while later, after COVID had started, the two of them noticed that book, looked at each other and said, you wanna go for a walk? And through secret stairway walks, and endless talks about everything and nothing at all. Holding on to one another and at times holding each other up, the three of you became family. <laughs> and before you knew it, they had completed all 38 of those walks. Mysteriously and magically, they found a very engaging number 39. He like casually asked if I wanted to go for a hike. I told her, I was like, oh, I thought it'd be romantic if we redid the first stairway walk. Went out there with the book. She's like reading through the book and we're redoing the walk. And then halfway through the walk, and then I told her, I'm like, oh, you're never gonna believe this, but uh, turns out there's one walk that we missed. And we like get to this clearing that opened up with like these beautiful views of like the bay. 
All the walks in the book are numbered, walk number one, two, three. And so this was walk number us. We like start kissing and the clouds just part and like the sun shines down on us. My brother is so very lucky to know that he is facing life with someone like Debbie on his team. In him, you have a friend who will always stand by and support you. You two are both very, very lucky. With this ring, be consecrated unto me as my wife. With this ring, be consecrated unto me as my husband. According to the law of Moses. And the faith of Israel. We hope that your marriage should last for as many years as it would take to restore this broken glass to its original state. Through this union, we vow to value and support each other, always striving to show sensitivity to each other's needs. We promise to celebrate life's joys with grace and overcome life's adversities with tenacity. Through each other's eyes, we see the world anew. My hope for you as you walk together through this new adventure, that you will not see life's imperfections as they arise as mistakes or flaws or wrong choices, but instead as beauty that just hasn't been created yet. L'chaim.